Scotland ended up with the wooden spoon yesterday as they crashed 13-6 to Italy in a display which must rank as one of the worst Scottish performances in living memory. Greg Laidlaw's two penalties were all we could score as our scrum disintegrated and our backs never got going. It was Scotland's first whitewash in the Six Nations since 2004, but coach Andy Robinson said afterwards that he still believes he's the right man to take Scotland forward into the World Cup in 2015. Well, moving on to happier news, and all but one of the Borders Premiership teams won their games yesterday. Gala outplayed Melrose to cruise to a comfortable 26-11 win at Netherdale, winning the tri-count 3-1 thanks to scores from Gary Lowry, George Graham and Peter Palapoy to just one from Fraser Thompson. For Melrose coach Craig Chalmers, it was a first ever defeat at Netherdale as a player or as a coach. No, listen, uh, we beat a better bit team today. Uh, Gala were fired up for the game. We were we were very very poor today, and uh, you know there's no excuses. You know they, they wanted it more than us for 18 minutes, and we were lucky to be in the game at half time. To be honest with you, so uh, deeply disappointed with the way we performed today. We've trained really hard and trained really well this week, but you got you got to take it on the field and and then produce the good, and we, we didn't do that today. It was disappointing. In contrast, George Graham's frown was replaced by a grin like a Cheshire cat. Normally you get me up here and I'm full of doom and gloom and what we could have done and what we should have done even when we win, but today, none of that. I'm absolutely a very happy wee fat man. Absolutely overjoyed for my players for the way they performed. I think we dominated every aspect of that game today. The line-outs, the scrums, the breakdowns, the tackle area, the defence. I thought we were just absolutely fantastic for the full 85, 90 minutes. To keep a team like Melrose to one one try, it's a complete performance for me. Probably one of the, if not the best, uh, performance we've had the entire season, not just this half. You can watch highlights of the game right now on Borders Rugby Television at bordersrugby.net. Those results mean that Melrose's lead at the top of Premier A has been cut to one point, with Dundee gaining a bonus point win at Borough Muir. Gala move up to third, overtaking Curry, who lost at home to Ayr. Turning to Premier B, and Hoyt kept up their hopes of returning back to the top table of Scottish rugby with a bonus point win at Watsonians. Their four tries came from a Ross Armstrong brace and one each from Stephen Anderson and Rory Hutton. Rivals Heriots and Edinburgh Ackies both won their matches, so Hoyk need a win next week at Jed Forest, and they must also hope that either of the Edinburgh sides slip up in their games if they're to be playing in the Premiership next season. Talking of Jed Forrest, they had another of their first half collapses yesterday, trailing 19-3 at one point against Stuart's Melville at Inverleith. But amazingly, they fought back to win 24-22 with Andrew Nagel, David Grieve and Connor Hogg all getting touchdowns, with Ewan Scott converting all plus a penalty. Here's coach Darren Cunningham. Start slowly clawing back and uh, scoring a try right near the end and Ewan Scott converting it. Really good result away from home. Um, so it's looking forward to next week. Into Premier C and both Selkirk and Kelso secured National Rugby next season with wins. Selkirk beat West of Scotland 30-19 with a try bonus. Andrew Rennick snapped up two of them with Niall Godsmark and Ali Dixon getting the others. For Kelso, it was a second away win on the bounce at White Craigs, taking the game 23-18 with Kevin Utterson and Richard Minto, their try scorers. Kelso boss, Eugene Murnane. Today's game, obviously, we are delighted with the win. Again, we showed character like we did last week. We defended well, you know, especially we were at one stage, you know, where we were, we were really up against it. We lost a couple of key players to injury. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we showed a lot of character and I'm delighted for the boys. In the National League, Hoyt YM went top of the table with a big win over third place Dunfermline. 46-13 was the result and a home win against Murrayfield Wanderers next week could give them the title if Musselburgh don't win at Ellen in seven days' time. Langham put up a good fight at Kilmarnock but missed out 47-28 after leading in the second half. The other local results, East League 2, playoffs, Broughton 27, Gala YM 39, Hoyk Harlequin 7, Dunbar 24. And the East League 3 playoffs, St Boswell's 12, Edinburgh Northern 12. And the match between Queen's Ferry and Walkerburn was postponed.